Michelle, you're watching My Life with Tina, and today we are honored to have actor extraordinaire Rob Morgan. Where did you grow up? Are you a New Yorker? Uh, I grew up in like D.C., Northern Virginia area, um, Southeast D.C., uh, Mary Church Terrell Elementary School, had a big impact on me. I don't even know if that school exists still. I uh, was going to go to Ballou High School, then we moved to uh, Northern Virginia where I finished up uh, middle school at uh, Parkside Middle and then went to uh, Osborne Park for high school and graduated high school there and that was all in Northern Virginia and then went to Virginia State University for college, which is like my uh, one of my most best decisions I've ever made in my life. Virginia State University, support your HBCUs, Historically Black College and Universities. Okay. Don't know if you're hip to the uh, current dialogue about how uh, the current administration had the HBCU presidents go to the White House for what was supposedly a, a, a discussion about saving them, uh, turned into a, a photo-type PR thing, but Whatever the case, I, I'm a product of HBCUs, mm -hmm. historically black college and universities, and I uh, promote them very strong, Good. especially Virginia State University. So uh, that was a large part of my childhood. I guess now at, at this age, I could say graduating in college as a child. So <laughs> uh, yeah, um, then after Virginia State University, came to New York and been in New York for like 20 years, Brooklyn. Uh, started out in Flatbush, then Bed-Stuy, and now I'm in uh, Crown Heights. Okay. Yeah. Um, were you like a crazy kid? Were you rambunctious? What's were crazy? you mis Well, were you That's mischievous? You seem like you were like always getting in trouble. Uh, I wouldn't say that. At five years old, I was actually working in the tobacco field. No way. Know about that. Yeah. I didn't know that. Uh, during the summer times, my mom and dad would send me down to North Carolina which is where uh, their family's from, and actually where I was born, because uh, that's where my mom and dad's families are from, North Carolina, Pollocksville, and New Bern. Um, so I would get sent down south at five years old to work in the tobacco fields, and I did that every summer until I was 13, and the only reason I didn't go back when I was 13 was because I lied and said I was 14 years old so I can get a worker's permit and start working as a dishwasher <laughs> at uh, Jay and Drake's, which was at uh, Potomac Mills Mall at the time. And that's probably when the mis mischievousness in my life started. Not till a teenager? Because- uh, And what kind of trouble did you get into? Um, I guess I had more, you know, time on my hands and, you know, more ways to uh, stay around the neighborhood that I was really familiar with mm -hmm. and the people uh, that was familiar with the neighborhood. So. Uh, instead of me going down south and being uh, put to work. Back in those days, uh, whatever you got paid, my grandmother would just take it out of my hand as soon as it hit my hand. <laughs> because, you know, it was understood that you had to pull your weight regardless. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't that you was five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years old and just going to sit at the dinner table for free. You know, you still had to contribute. Speaking of family, I know you're close to your mom. Yeah, that's my well, baby. <laughs> What was the, the best piece of advice she gave you as you got older or when you came to New York or when you started out? Or can you think of anything that, or what is it that she, a, a life lesson she instilled in you? Uh, my mom just told me to use my million dollar smile. You know, she was just telling me to keep using my million dollar smile. You do have smile. one. You kind of like yeah. light up. Yeah. You look so <laughs> serious, like if you don't know you. Yeah. And then. Like when you smile, yeah, it like does light that's up. That's what she tells me, use my smile. Did you get your smile from her? Uh, I guess, uh, you know, the way she makes me feel, it, it, it lightens up. So, yeah, I guess so. And I she makes you feel like a million dollars? or? Uh, you know, she makes me feel loved, makes me feel uh, like I have a support team, like I have a, a mm -hmm. cheerleader regardless, you know. Hmm. Did you watch TV? Um, well, I used to have to come home and, uh, you know, basically take care of myself. Um, so that entailed walking home from school, coming in, boat locking the doors, uh, going in the kitchen, making a peanut butter sandwich, pouring some other apple juice, milk, water, whatever was available at the time, uh, and then go sit in front of the TV, turn it on, and watch it until I either pass out, wake <laughs> up in the bed the next morning, and then have to do it all over again 
or uh, until my mom came home, you know. Um, what would you fall asleep watching? Uh, I'd say Jefferson's, mm -hmm. Good Times, um, um, What's Happening. Mm -hmm. You know, those kind of shows definitely inspired me a lot. Uh, those type of family drama comedies. Right. And then as, you know, TV got more advanced, I got more into like the Cosby show and, uh, you know, the different worlds and uh, Martins and mm -hmm. things like that, you know. But definitely <laughs> Sanford and Son, Good Times, yeah. uh, What's Happening, The Jeffersons. If you could you remake know. any one of those shows, what would you remake? If I could remake any one of those shows what, something they, that you grew up with i wouldn't even touch those because they're like beautiful classics that oh. stand alone but if i was to take a concept or an idea and massage it into what my lifestyle and community will reflect even if somebody stole this idea it would be cool but cheers i think cheers in like bed -Stuy in the 80s would be a beautiful mm -hmm. show you know what I mean? Um, mm -hmm. Something like that. And that's something I've been brainstorming about contributing as far as my own uh, creation. But yeah, I like, because I like Cheers a lot too, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'd like to see that based in like my community. Who is Margaret Terry? Margaret Terry, wow. That's the young lady that actually put the whole idea of acting in my mind. Uh, she was uh, an actress from New York City, came to uh, D.C., Northern Virginia, uh, working in an insurance firm, because that's the first job I got out of college was temping at this insurance agency, like mm -hmm. basically just data entry, and met her there, and she kind of encouraged me to go to uh, an open call for this movie Contact with Jodie Foster and Matt McConaughey, and that's really what set off all of this for me. But you didn't grow up watching TV saying, hey, I want to do that, I want to be in front of the camera. It nah, would be so fun. It, our growing up watching stuff was like, we watched wrestling, you know, like. like I watched big time wrestling with my dad. Yeah. And like ballroom the, dancing. I grew up in the Midwest, so there wasn't much <laughs> happening okay. on the weekend. But yeah, nah, not ballroom dancing, but like, you know, sports, wrestling. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Eddie Murphy was a big, huge influence to me, you know, seeing Eddie Murphy. Um, and all the things he could do and all the ways he could affect people mm -hmm. was a huge influence. I even have Eddie Murphy right now in my, in my house as soon as you walk in. It's like this cover of Uptown Magazine and him on it. You know, like Eddie Murphy was a humongous inspiration to me.